A, B, C are real numbers. A square plus B square plus C square is equal to 1. Then the values, set of values A, B plus B, C plus C, A can take. Wonderful. So this is, see, A minus B whole square is greater than or equal to 0. A square plus B square minus 2AB is greater than or equal to 0. Or A square plus B square is greater than or equal to 2AB. B square plus C square greater than or equal to 2BC. C square plus A square is greater than or equal to 2AC. We add this, you get 2 times A square plus B square plus C square. 2 times A square plus B square plus C square is greater than or equal to 2 times AB plus BC plus CA. This is famous AMGM inequality, just done with squares. Or A square plus B square plus C square is greater than or equal to AB plus BC plus CA. If this is equal to 1, then the maximum value this can take will be 1. And so AB plus BC plus CA maximum is 1. So these two choices we can eliminate. Likewise, if you put A plus B whole square greater than or equal to 0, then you'll get minus, minus, minus. We should be able to get minus 1 as well. So it looks like this is a possibility. There's something funny happening here. If you put A equal to B equal to C, then this expression will be equal to this. Fine. So, so the maximum we can attain. However, if you put A equal to B equal to C, then we can never go negative. You should put one of the terms as negative. Only then we can go and get a minus number. And so, in ideal world, if all three were negative, AB plus BC plus CA would be positive. All three were positive, AB plus BC plus CA would be positive. You put this as negative, this as positive, this as positive. I'm not talking about A square, B square, C square. I'm talking about A, B, C. A into B would be negative. A into C would be negative. B into C would be positive. Somewhere, one of the three products at least can turn out to be positive, which will offset it. So the negative funda, the minus part might not go all the way till minus one. So you should be a little worried about that. Fine. So let's see. Let's look at the tweak this another way. Let's say a plus b plus c the whole square. This is a square plus b square plus c square plus two a b plus two b c plus two c a. This is greater than or equal to zero. Or two a b plus 2bc plus 2ca is greater than or equal to minus of a square plus b square plus c square or 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca is greater than or equal to minus 1 ab plus bc plus ca is greater than or equal to minus half it goes from minus half to 1 and not this absolutely delightful question and whenever you're dealing with the inequalities of these expressions you're looking at a minus B whole square greater than or equal to zero somewhere and to, to crack that, to get that going. Sometimes it is A plus B whole square greater than or equal to Sometimes it is A plus B plus C whole square greater than or equal to zero. So a perfect square cannot be negative. That's going to be the bedrock for a bunch of these. Things.